Welcome to my Instructable, where I'm going to show you um, how to simply edit this Skylanders file for a birthday party or whatever you want to use it for. Um, this is a file that I've um, that I've created, and you can find it in this Instructable. And once you've opened it in Photoshop, you'll notice the layers over here, bottom right. You have the background layer. That's the main Skylanders um, sign. Then this is really important in case you want to edit that text, you can. Um, this is the white layer and the shadow behind team. And this is the word team itself. This one is the editable text layer for the name. This one is the white back the white border and the drop shadow. And this one is the red layer with the gradient. So to get started, we're going to go ahead and turn off this previous name, we don't need that, and the white part of the previous name, which we also do not need. Now we're going to select this edible text layer here. My computer will work. Alright, then we can grab the text tool and click anywhere within the text. And you can backspace the name. And for this one, this will be Andrew. And then click the Move tool. And we can see it's a little bit too big for us, so we're going to do Control T for the Free Transform tool. And we're going to hold the Shift key, click, and drag the corner. Hold the Shift key the whole time. If you want to keep it in, in ratio, then you do this. See, I want it about here, but I don't want it that short, so if I click this and drag without holding the shift key, so it won't be in ratio anymore, I can drag it to make it a little bit taller to match the other side. So obviously the longer the name you have here, the smaller the text will be compared to this, the team on the other side. I'm going to make it a little bit smaller on this side. Again, don't hold shift if you don't want to hold the ratio. And that's good, so I'm going to hit enter to, to save it like that. You can use the arrow keys to nudge it if you want to move it around any in small increments. Okay, now we're going to come over here where we have our layers. We're going to choose this icon. This is the new layer icon. We're going to choose this, and that gives us layer 3. And we need to reorder it. We need to below our text, so click and drag it underneath your name. Now you have a layer on which to work. So we're going to keep this layer selected. We're going to use the magnifying glass tool to zoom in as big as you want. Then this is my favorite tool for selecting. You can choose your own if you are more comfortable with another tool. This one is the magnetic lasso. And come up here and make sure this, this button is selected. This is the add to selection button. Then you proceed to select around all the text like so. You click and it'll put an anchor and you can drag it anywhere you want. Um, every time you click it puts a new uh, anchor and you will drag from that position so you can do the curves. Uh, the more anchors you use the more smooth the smoother the curve will be. Um, just make sure you don't double click in one place or it will end your selection and you'll have to start over. Okay. Here we have the A is selected, but we don't want this whole selection within the A. So if you come up here and you choose this icon, this is the take away from selection button. So we will choose that and then we will choose a selection within the shape, within this hole in the A, that we do not want to include. But I still want a border within the shape. There we go. Now we have this selected. Now all you need to do is you do the rest with all the rest of the name here. So I'm going to... Um, pause this and complete this and bring you back in. And so here we have it, it's all selected now. Um, so what we want to do is we want to select our um, paint bucket tool, which for me it's hidden right here, so I'm going to left click, right click and choose the paint bucket tool here. And then change my color to white. Let me just click this, uh, select white from the color picker. And then anywhere within the selection that you have, just uh, click and it will turn it all white. And now we have the white border 
So if you go to select and then deselect, you can see, you see your border. Then go over to the layer that we're on, layer 3. We're going to double click on layer 3. And in this layer style box, click this drop shadow. And under the options in the first box here, distance, uh, click 6. And the second one is 41. And the bottom, click 0. And that will match this shadow to the former shadow on the other side here. Hit OK. Now we have a shadow. You can zoom out a little bit. If you choose the magnifying glass tool, then hold the Alt key to change it to minus, and you can zoom out. So now we have our name in the white border and the shadow, but we need the gradient to put this darkness um, on the top. In order to do a gradient on a text layer, you have to first rasterize the text, which is why I've included a text layer for you so that it's editable it's able to be edited. Once you rasterize it, you can't you can't change the text. So first before we do this, we need to select our words here because that's what we want the gradient uh, to be on. So how I do this is we're going to turn off the red layers from team. So now all we have left is the red from your name here. If you go up to the top and you pick select and you choose color range then you select the red and hit enter. Now all the red is selected. Now you can go back and turn your other red layers back on so they won't be included in the selection. Now we have our name is selected. We're going to make sure that we're on the correct layer here. Make sure you're on your, your name's layer for us as Andrew. Then go up here and choose layer and go down to rasterize here and over to type. That will make it where we can um, put a gradient here over this word. I don't know if it's working. Let's try again. Yeah, I guess so. The computer is very slow. So we're going to go back over here and change this back to our gradient tool. And up here you can see the color. I already have it selected to what I need, but in your case you may not. So you just click here and it gives you this um, color bar here. If your colors are not correct, what you do is you choose this button here, and then you can choose the bottom of the red from team. And this button here, you click this, and then you can choose the top of the dark area from team. That will give you the gradient that you need. You hit OK. And then over here on Andrews, and your name, you should click, hold, drag, and drop, and you will get your gradient. You can play around with it how you want your gradient to go. Um, I always click uh, near the top, drag a short ways, and drop, and it changes where the shadows fall. You just play around with it until you're happy uh, with the gradient that you get. And when you are, you hit uh, select, deselect, and now you can see your work. You can see the drop shadow works with the drop shadow over here. I mean the gradient. And if it does, great. If not, and you want to change it, you go back to select, reselect, and you can you can change the the gradient that you placed. So now I'm finished. Um, this is the way I want it to be. So then you just save your file, file, save as. Then you choose a folder to save it in. Okay. Right here, I'm going to change the name. This one will be called Andrew. So I already have one of these. Okay, I'll have it Andrew 2. Um, and I'll save it as Photoshop, or you can save it as a JPEG so you will be able to print it or email it or send it to somebody. Um, then just hit save, and you're done.